So, what is sandbox? Kalyan? Sandbox is a, a, a copy of a, a, a product, is a copy of production. There are four types of sandbox. Uh, uh, full full sandbox uh, developer pro uh, partial sandbox and uh, so developer sandbox developer pro partial uh, copy full sandbox. full sandbox okay so what is the difference between these four sandboxes Sri, sir? okay um uh, the developer copy uh, actually depending on the license uh, uh, depending on the version that you have uh, there are there's going to be 30 sandboxes available mm -hmm. of the developer uh, kind mm -hmm. and developer pro you'll have five uh, five sandboxes available mm -hmm. and uh, um, uh, the the partial um, sorry the, the par partial copy there's going to be uh, I think twenty of those and the yeah. full uh, sa sandbox you're going to get uh, five of them. Okay. So Kalari, one tell what is the difference between sandboxes? In uh, in develop in full sandbox, we get it is just like a production uh, copy, and uh, we get a refreshment. Uh, the refresh uh, day is uh, twenty nine days, and in uh, partial and uh, um, in partial it is five days, and uh, uh, in uh, a developer pro and uh, developer it is uh, one day so uh, uh, class i told you right whenever you see whenever you are explaining answer you have to go from like a start to end like not to end to start you are coming first full sandbox then a pro then you are coming developer so which sandbox actually will come first developer developer pro, developer, developer pro, full, sandbox. full sandbox so so developer sandbox we can refresh every day developer uh, pro we can refresh every day like a partial copy five days and a full sandbox every 20 days okay so developer sandbox will support 100 mb developer pro will support 1 gb partial copy will support 5 gb data full sandbox will support as as my as like a same like a production production right so in the developer sandbox we cannot copy the production metadata we can copy only the metadata not the data same in uh, developer pro also Partial copy, we can copy some objects, um, data and metadata. Okay. And full sandbox, you can copy all the data and as well as the metadata. Correct? So, yes. these are like differences between uh, all this. Just you have to go like a step by step. Okay. Good. When I could repeat, say, what are the read-only fees in the Salesforce? Read-only fields? Read only fields. What are the read only fields available in a Salesforce? I mean, uh, where can we create the read only fields, right? Correct. Where we can create the, which type of data type, which type of data types uh, we are calling read only fields. What is read only field? In the read only field, can we enter data? We cannot read, read only field. Yeah, read only field are like, for example, formula fields are read only fields. Yeah. Getting any form depending on other fields, but that is read only because data is coming from the other fields. Correct. So read only means we cannot enter the data. So which data types we have? Formula. Auto number. Auto number. What other one? Prologue summary. So these are the three read only fields available in Salesforce. If you want to make read only normal using field or that is also follow. Because by default, these data types are the read only fields in the article of the Salesforce. What is external ID? 
what is external id fields what are the external id fields external id field you can use it when we are importing data from other field so that will reflect our this id is maintained outside our organization mm -hmm. which data types we can use external id fields um, auto number email and text number email and text correct number auto number email and text. email and text auto number email and text these are the four fields we can use it as a external fields so what is the use of these fields okay generally if you want to integrate one system to other systems salesforce to other system so to make it uh, to clear like if you want to get common uh, fields between the two systems we can use external id field we can make it a unique field i think we have seen same topic in the data world also right using the data world also we can update data based on the external id also then so who helps next sony could you please tell me what are the relationships for in salesforce mm. uh, relationships well look, there's master duty relationship lookup relation self mm. relation um external relation um, and hierarchical relation mm. and um, There's one more. Mm. Mm. Many too many. Okay. Many. So here, yeah. as I told you, the, I told you, if you are explaining anything, we have to go from scratch. If you are explaining mm. topic, na first we have to explain self, look up, master, many too many hierarchy. This is like a flow. Understand? Mm. Not tell me yes. what self relationship. Um. Well, uh, many to many relationship is uh, is like we have. I'm, I, no, I'm I'm asking about self relationship. Self relation, okay. Yeah. Self relation or a relation with itself is a self relation. Mm -hmm. um, Example, any any where we have seen that there is self relationship in Salesforce, where we can see the existing system. Any where you have seen that one? So, for example, if I am creating an account and I am giving a self relationship, for example, a payment account is also type of account with a self relationship. Account to account, exactly. Exactly. In account, you can see payment account. In the campaign, also you can see payment campaign. So that is like a self relationship. Here, look up object also. Here, child and payment both are same. Child and the payment object both are same. Okay. What is the look up? Uh, child, child record. We can uh, from the child record. We can look into the parent record. Mm -hmm. mm. Example: contact uh, account field. Uh, account records in the contact field. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's a lookup. Mm. Yes. Mm. Sini. They are loosely. Yeah, uh, it is a loosely coupled relationship. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Uh, when the parent record is deleted mm -hmm. um the child record uh, whatever is whatever uh information related to the parent is in the child record mm. that becomes blank okay. and the parent uh, parent record gets deleted without okay. the child getting affected mm -hmm. okay any any other we points can... Mm -hmm. we can create up to 40 relationship 40 lookup relations to your object okay or actually you can create 38 plus two um, master detail mm -hmm. yeah anything either 40 completely yeah. create a lookup either 40 or the 38 or plus 2 2 plus 2 okay any other points related to the lookup relationship Lookup is required field or not required field? Lookup is not a required field. It's mm -hmm. not mandatory. Okay. But um, if uh, yeah, it's not mandatory. So. You want to? You can make it field required check box. That's it. Okay. There is also available uh, in the lookup right. box. Right. Uh, I think uh, we we saw that uh, with one of the relationships. Mm -hmm. Account and contact, I think. 
So, what is the relationship between account and contact? That is lookup or master. I, I thought it was uh, lookup. Okay. And uh, with with the cascade delete true set to true. Okay. So when uh, when a particular account record is deleted, its mm -hmm. uh, related children would be deleted as well. So, as per the UI, it is a lookup. As per the business, yeah. Concept? As per UI, it is lookup. But as for as far as the back end is concerned, it sort of behaves like a master detail. Correct. Okay. Good. What is master detail? Bagat, what is master detail? Good morning, Professor. Yeah, good morning. Yeah. What is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The master detail is nothing but we can create the child to parent relationship. Okay. And we can create a maximum two master details per object. Okay. And it is tightly coupled. Okay. Like the control will be under parent. Like exactly. parent will be controlling the child. Exactly. Uh, uh, by default, uh, if there is no parent, there is no master detail. We cannot create any master detail. Parent is required field. So parent is a mandate, mandate field. If you delete parent record, what will happen to child record? The child record will be deleted. Sorry, if you undo parent record? Sorry, I didn't get it. If we undelete, undelete the parent record. Undelete the parent record, then the parent record will be resumed, but the child record will be uh, like they won't be resumed. They will not some restore. Yeah. Okay. Sini? Uh, the if the parent record in a master detail relationship is uh, uh, you know restored from the recycle bin, uh -huh. then even the con uh, even the child records are restored. Correct. Even if you have the parent record, so if you delete parent record, child records are deleting, then automatically if you have the parent record, child record also should come. That is called master data. Okay, cool. Okay, so my question is, for example, when we can take one scenario. Okay. I have a student object. I have a teacher object. You can take a branch. But I want to create between these two objects master detail relationships. I want to create the relationship between two objects is master detail. Okay. So, but already in the student object, I have some reports. For example, I have five reports. So, can we create master detail? No, we cannot create it. So then cannot. how? 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 First, we, we need to we need to create a lookup relationship between okay. them. The child okay. and parent. Okay. Then we can create a master detail. So why we cannot create a master detail? Why we cannot create a master detail? If it's in the, because if a child the object, parent, uh, it's it's possible that the student record does not ha has uh, empty parent uh, fields in it. Correct. Correct. In the master detail means parent is required. But uh, if you create now new, if you create now relationship, these old records don't have parent. Correct. So that's yeah. why. That's why first we can create lookup, then populate the parent field, then convert lookup to master. So this is the one way. Is there any other way? For example, if you have a thousand records, what you can do? If you five yeah. records, you can what you would do is export the student records mm -hmm. out to using data loader or something like that mm -hmm. uh, and then um, you would uh, delete all the child objects within the records, yeah. records. Mm -hmm. and delete all the child records mm -hmm. and then re-import them back at the demo of import you have to add a parent add the uh, branch uh, branch ID. information Correct. parent information correct so that is the two approaches good Understood. Clear. What is roll-up summary, Kalyani? Where we can get roll-up summary fields? We can create roll-up summary field on um, master detail. 
mm-hmm. on formula print and um, what is roll of summary what the, what type of functions you can do in the roll of summary uh, we can do um, sum and average on the parent object sum count min sum max count. correct go to that so we can summarize the child object's data correct right. so this is available only in the parent record that to with the relationship is master data good okay. so for example i can take same scenario i have a student to branch i have a master data student to course i have a master data so i want to know which one is primary which one is secondary bhagat i want Sir. to know which one is primary which one is secondary how we can find yeah if we have zero uh, that is primary the our record okay and if it is one that is secondary where we can check if you want to see this relationship like uh, it's a primary we can Mark. find it in workbench correct in the workbench we can go object there you can see the relationship bar order yeah exactly if that order is zero that is a primary and the order equal to 1 it is a second second, second. Hmm. <clears throat> can we convert master to lookup can we yes. convert master to lookup yes, we can any query questions you have to check at the time of conversion uh when the lookup field in all the records uh, contains a value here yeah. mm-hmm. streaming uh, there shouldn't be any roll up summary sorry. fields in the master correct if you don't have any roll up summary fields in the salesforce in the parent object then you can convert understand if you don't have any parent relation like uh, if you if you don't have any roll up summaries in the parent record you can convert into the what master to lookup if you have roll up summaries we cannot convert why we cannot convert if you have roll up summaries roll up summaries is possible only in the master record understand yeah so then this is one part 